So we had a user reach out to us and ask how they could set up an incrementing ID inside of an object in an existing table. So let's take a look at the table just so you can kind of see what we're talking about here. So I have a sample products table here. I have one product, it's just called my product. It's very creative. And then the second column is a list of objects. And what we have in here is we have an ID, we have a color, and we have a size. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to automatically increment this ID when we add something new to this list of objects. So let's go to the API and let's walk through how we could build this. Let's first take a look at what this record looks like when we query it. So we have an array of objects. What we need to do is we need to get the ID of the last object and we use the ID that's inside of that object to increment before we add a new record. So let's go ahead and add a new API endpoint. We're gonna start from scratch and I'm gonna say add new product attribute. Now I'm gonna need some inputs here. My first input is going to be for my product. Which product record am I getting to edit? And the second input is going to be, let's take another look at what's inside of that object. So let's just go to this database preview and you can see we have color and size. So let's add a color input and a size, okay? So now what we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to get that record. And our field name, the field that we're actually searching this database by is going to be name. And our field value is going to be our input of product. So let's just take a look and see what that does right now. So the product name is my product. And if we run this, there's our record. Very simple. Now what I want to do is I want to pull off the last object in this array of objects. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to call it latest attribute. And I'm gonna say this is products1.attribute. I think it's attributes actually, let's check one more time. Attributes, okay. So we have product1.attributes and then I'm going to add a filter and the filter is going to be pop, which pops the last element of the array off and returns it. So that should give us the newest attribute. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So we're always getting the latest in the set. So now we need to actually build the new object that we're adding to the table. So let's create a variable and let's call this to add. And we're just going to make this an object. And let's use the set filter. Let's go ahead and set our ID. And our ID is going to be latest attribute dot ID. And then we're going to add a filter to this and we're just going to add one to that. So our latest has an ID of seven. This will give us an ID of eight. And then we need to set the color. So our path will be color and then our value will be our input of color. And then one more time, we need to set the size and use our input of size. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and run this and we'll put some more data in here. Let's say our color is orange and our size is large. So there's our new object that we're going to be adding to the table. And just so we can kind of compare the two here, let's go ahead and pull this up for a second. And then let's take another look at that products one. Okay. So you can see this is our new object that we're adding and it matches right along with our existing objects in this array of objects here. So seven is our latest and we're gonna add number eight to that. So finally, let's go ahead and do an edit record. And we're going to use our, let's just go ahead and use our name again. So for our attributes, what we need to do here is we need to do products1.attributes and then we need to add a filter to this to push 
the newest object onto the end of this existing array. And that filter is called push. To add is going to be our value there. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's return the edited record in our response. And let's run this. So you can see there's our new ID of eight. And if we go to the database, let's check our record. And there it is right there. So now we have automatically incrementing IDs in an array of objects. Okay, so now that we've seen that working, it's really cool, right? However, we can definitely consolidate this function stack and get it done in fewer steps. So let's take a look and see what that might look like. So I'm going to go right here to this edit record step that we've built. And you can see there's a lot more going on here this time, but it's essentially the same things that were happening in these two steps previously. We've just consolidated it all into one. So in our new edit record step, we have our products one dot attributes as our main value, and we're still using the push filter. We're pushing an object. You can see we're pushing an object using that push filter. We're setting the ID. Our value is the products one dot attributes, just like before. We're using pop to pull off the last item of that array of objects, just like before. This time we're using the get filter to get the ID out of that object that we've pulled out. And then we're adding one to that to increment that ID, just like before. And then after that, we're setting the path of color and we're setting the path of size. So that all happens in one step. So let's go ahead and run and debug this. So let's say our color is yellow and our size is large. And if we run this, you can see there's our ID and we have yellow and large. Let's do one more just for fun. This one is going to be blue and it's going to be medium. Run it one more time. We have an ID of 11, color blue, size medium. So you can definitely do this all in one step. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one.